Hello everyone. Today we're going to go over how to generate reports in Fleet Maintenance Pro 15. So to start, we're on our equipment list. On the left, we'll click on the reports item in the menu, and this will bring up our report viewer. Now, depending on which version of 15 you have, we have standard, deluxe, and shop. Um, the higher edition you have, the more reports you'll see available here. So there might be some reports that you see here that you might not have in standard and deluxe. On the left, there are different categories for types of reports. So for example, I have equipment. Uh, if I click on my plus sign, it's going to give me more categories that I can choose from. And then I can kind of drill down and find which report I want to generate. So to start, we're going to click on equipment listing. And immediately on the right hand side, it's going to give me a preview of the report. Um, so let's go over some of these options. So on the top, I've got drop downs. I've got all equipment here. If I click on that, I can have selected equipment or I can choose from my locations. Now selected equipment on my equipment list, I can go through and highlight these by either holding down control or the shift button on my keyboard. Whichever ones are highlighted, when I go to reports and then I click on equipment listing, I can choose selected equipment here and then it'll only give me the report for those items. Um, same for status, I can choose a status of equipment. Dates, I can choose a date range. Now for this particular report, I'm just listing all of my equipment. On the bottom though, I have a filter by drop down box so I can choose what kind of date I'm talking about when I'm choosing my date range here. So I can say a date I sold something, something that's in service. I've got additional criteria as my last drop down. So if I click on that, this is more of like an advanced filter. So let's say for example, I wanted to find all of my equipment, but only find ones in the color of blue. So I would check the first box. I can leave it set to and, and then the category, or, or I'm sorry, the field sets category right now. I'll go ahead and change this to color. Condition, I'll leave it set to equals, but you can see there's a whole bunch more options in here. Value, I'll set to blue. So basically this says, give me all of my items on the report, but give me equipment with the color that equals blue. So I'll press OK, hit refresh. And now you can see that I've got just my one item in here that has my blue color on it. So I'll click OK, we'll refresh this to get our, our big list. Uh, let me go over these buttons on the second bar down here. First button is preview, um, basically acts like the refresh button. Uh, if I click on it, it'll just reload the report for me. I have my printer icon. That's if I want to print the report out or save it. And we'll go over that very shortly. I have an email button that this will send it straight to my email program, whatever default that you have. Binoculars is my find. So I can search through. So let's say I want to search for Chevy. Click on find text and it'll highlight every place in the report that I can see the word Chevy. So that's kind of useful. These three buttons here control my zoom, which I can also type a number into manually. So if you wanna kind of make it bigger, these buttons are very handy. And then I have my page number, and then I have my pages that I can scroll through. Pretty simple. So let's say I have my report, and I want to save it as maybe a PDF, which is pretty common you know, to attach to an email, or if I want to save the results to a spreadsheet. So to do so, I would click on my printer icon, and I'll get my print dialog box. Obviously, if I just want to print, I would just pick my printer and press OK. In this instance, I want to save it as a file. So there is a print to file option on the bottom. So I'll go ahead and check that. Right now, I have my type set to PDF. However, I can change that to whatever I'd like. So the most common ones are PDF, and then these XLS types, or XLSX, all of these are Excel types. Um, if you pick report file, that's going to try and mimic the preview, which won't give you clean columns a lot of times because the headers will try to, it'll try to fit them in anywhere. Um, the data file um, gives me just the data from each row very cleanly. Um, I recommend going with that one first. So you would pick the type. So let's say I'll do XLSX data file. And then underneath, I have a where box. So it's going to ask me where I want to save my Excel sheet to. 
So in order to pick that, I have to hit this button to the right with the three dots. I would pick a directory to save it to, and then I would type in a name. So I can do test spreadsheet and hit save. So it'll automatically populate here. As soon as I press OK, it won't actually print to my printer because I have all these options picked. And it'll save my spreadsheet to that location. So I can go and pull it up later, send it as an email, etc. That wraps up our report basics for Fleet Maintenance Pro 15. For more information, visit our website at www.mtcpro.com.